everybody. Welcome back to Wolf Dunn Farm. Another evening feeding. Oh, there's my girls. There's my girls. Oh, look at Rooster run. Just got back from work again. Driving all around recently. Just in Albany, New York, or north of Albany, New York. Working on another water jet. Customer crashed it. We got it running again. Hey, Hoppy Dink. Want some worms? So, dusting himself over there. Dusting yourself over there, buddy? Yeah? Oh, there's my piggies. There's my little piggies. And by little, I mean ginormous. Yeah, how is my peeps? Oh, you guys are hungry. You guys ate all your food. You guys ate all your food. Hi. How is my girl? Huh? How is my girl? You got a little muddy. Yeah. They don't understand. Stop holding the bread like that. <laughs> I love when I hand him something and he just went around. What are you mad that it's an eggshell? Eat the eggshells. Well, I got you socks. Don't worry. I didn't forget about you, bud. I didn't forget about you, my good boy. Socks. Bloobs, I'll come over there. Oh, let me go see. Let me go see her, bub. How's my girl? How's my girl? That was my girl. You tired? It was a big yawn. That was a big yawn. Hi, 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 Shermie. Shermie, we just got some. Uh, Dry from my blueberry. I'm very happy that you guys have not destroyed the uh, base of your new farrowing huts yet. Oh, stop. They're so whiny. They're so whiny. Hi. Yeah. Hey, you smudgy dudgy. Hey, you smudgy dudger. You guys want some food? Oh. What's up, Brewster? What's up, Brewster? He's following me because he likes it when I give him food after I'm feeding the peas. He's been a lot hungrier recently. He's been a lot hungrier recently. He doesn't always stop me. In fact, this is kind of a new thing. He's clearly eating enough. Here. You want a little? He's also been knocking on the door in the kitchen a lot to come inside. Because my boy, Ian, my oldest boy, he spoils them. Always brings them inside and gives them snacks. No, stop it. I just put some in the tray. You're so whiny. Uh, since they emptied the tray, we'll do the four scoops. I did not do four scoops this morning. I did two scoops, which is why it's empty. For those that have been on the channel before, we like them to finish everything in the bin once every three days. And that's just so that we're not wasting food because 
we just keep piling it in there so there's no, no never any lack of food the food in the bottom will start to obviously go bad as it gets wet and gets moldy so look look at him what are you doing trough snoss trough snossage you're not complaining. He could just eat the food. You're gonna get smudged. Smudge is gonna bump, bump your bum. Watch this. Smudge is gonna give him the oust. <laughs> yeah, you gotta wait. It's not your turn to eat. What'll happen is the adults will eat. Hi, girls. The adults will eat and then they'll go drink some water and then the little boys will eat. No. They'll trough snossage. They'll lay in there and trough snossage. Always my little red. What are you doing? Sketchy little girl. Uh, let's see how the bunk beds are doing. I jokingly call it the bunk beds in here because we've had like two chickens in every box just sitting there recently. Oh, yeah, bunk beds. Look, we got two in there two in there one over there everybody's sharing it i like it i hope we have a whole bunch of little chicklets yeah you guys are absolutely ridiculous uh i see an egg over there i see an egg over there that is not being sit on under arsenio Arsenio, what are you doing? <sighs> Hi. What's going on with this egg, Arsenio? It's not it's not fertilized? They kick the ones that aren't fertilized out. What are you doing, Joe? Girl, yeah. How are you girls doing? Oh, everybody's cranky. Oh, you are cranky. You guys are adorable. It's not... It's not just one day. It's not like they're just trying to lay eggs. Nope, they're they're cooperatively sitting on those eggs together. Oh, spears. Because they've been in that same formation for three days. So, hopefully we get some new little chickens soon. I know, oh, there's my, there's my ma over there. The light bantam on the left, the tiny one. She's over there. Uh, I saw her starting to send some eggs. She's a super mom. She's dedicated. Once she gets once she gets broody, she's broody all summer long. You can't get her off the eggs. I wish I wish she was just a little bit bigger. It's because the bantams are so little that they, they don't. It's got to be really warm outside for their, them to go into brooding, which is a raise in their core temperature. So their body actually changes physiologically. They get warmer uh, to help incubate eggs. Oh, we oh, we got them on mine here. Oh, I, you see nice some eggs. Okay. Oh, I just dropped an egg. Just dropped an egg. Ah, shoot. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, I have to ask you as I bump the people. How many of those eggs are you sitting on? Are you are you actively sitting on the eggs? Oh she is. Are you gonna sit are you gonna sit on this one? You're not even sitting on that one. Oh it's warm. Okay. Okay. Then actually sit on them. Let's see this is she does. She's guarding them. That's how you know they're broody. If they're not broody they'll just squawk and jump off the egg. She's got Uh, that's okay. I know another place we can find eggs. Hey, let's uh, let's take a little peek in the greenhouse in here. Yeah, I know it's dirty in here still. Look at those plants. I love it in here. Those things have tripled in size since you put them out here a few days ago. We have some uh, raised beds that one of our friends in a neighboring town uh, makes things. Uh, in fact, he made. Well, a little wishy well cover there, as Jen calls it. It's a fake 
fake well cover that's over our regular in-house well. Uh, he's made a couple things for us in the past. Oh, any eggs down there? Oh, sometimes I'll lay eggs down in there. Uh, but Jen called him up and asked him to make some custom raised beds that are going to fit in there. So he is doing that for us. Yeah, okay. This is a tough place to get to. Maybe if I didn't have so much stuff in the lean to it wouldn't be so hard to get to. Alright. Maybe if I cleaned up all the yard tools. If, 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 maybe, maybe, maybe. Just full of excuses. Full of excuses. I have to close the bump out on the trailer because if you didn't watch my, uh, my previous episode, uh, trailer's probably going to be totaled. Water got inside over the winter. Don't know how, but it got in two sides of the trailer simultaneously. It's, it's a hoopla, so it has to go be inspected by the camper dealer. Blah, 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 blah. Look at that, Atlas. Look at that, Atlas. He's such a good boy. Thanks, guys. Let's catch up on another video. Give me a comment. Right, Piggy? Give me a comment. Yeah.